What's up guys, Crazy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Poisonous Trail Treasure. Now this is given that you've gotten the original one that's up um, by, by Saren Lake and the Saren Lodge with the treasure found under the bed. But this is how we're going to get to the next point of the, the treasure map and how it's a little tricky, but we'll figure it out together. The first place you're going to want to start is by Scarlet like a little bit west of Ringneck Creek. Um, this would be the good area to find the next portion of the map. Uh, you'll notice you'll see a kind of a cliff side on a mountain that, that looks like a face. And I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later. Now you'll know you'll be getting close. When, like I spoke about earlier, that cliffside that has kind of that face that you can see on the side of it. Um, you'll see that, and that's where the map is located, on a tree kind of north um, around the corner of that. So that'll, that'll let you know you're in the right area, and that's the area to head to. Now, as you get close to that cliff, uh, you'll notice there's a few dead trees around the, the, the hill itself. Uh, what you're going to want to do is find a tree that's kind of broken midway. It's very short. Um, you'll see it laying down by a long dead tree next to a rock. Uh, what you're going to want to do is walk around that tree and there's an opening, a small hole in the rock and you'll get the cue to search that area. Um, and once you search that area, you'll find the next portion of the Poisonous Trail map. Now, once you have that map, when you open it up, you'll notice the next clue is shaped like a, a snake and it looks like a mound on, in the top right hand corner of that. Um, I'll kind of show you, it's a little tricky to pinpoint that, but once you figure that out with a little trial and error, it's pretty easy to see on the map. Now the second clue or the second map after you've found the original map is a little bit tricky. It's kind of in the east side, the middle east side of New Hanover. Um, you can tell that it's a little hump um, next to Mosey Flats, the river. You'll see where it kind of uh, bends somewhat. That's in the area that the uh, next clue, next map will be in. We'll head over that way and I'll show you more in depth. Now here's the tricky part. Once you reach that original location that we marked earlier, um, you'll notice that it's not exactly in that area. You'll see kind of a smaller area where the mounds kind of come together that looks like, uh, kind of like a snake, I guess you could say, that are kind of wrapped around together. That's where the mounds located. It's a little bit, little bit more south than where I had originally marked, but that's where you'll find the rocks put together and the hole in the middle that you can remove the map from. Now, once you reach this area, um, you'll see a few gatherings of rocks, but you'll notice that this is exactly where the map will be. You'll be able to tell it's kind of like an oval-shaped opening area. Um, reach inside the hole, uh, get the search clue or the search cue, and then you'll be able to find the next portion of the map. Once you open the map, you'll notice that there's a red marker pointing to a waterfall. Uh, that's where we'll enter to get to the next portion of the treasure map. Um, actually the last portion and then on the bottom right hand corner you'll see a different tunnel two different tunnels that you can access now the final location uh, of the last portion of the map or the treasure is a little bit tricky 
It's going to be in the top right hand corner of New Hanover, a little bit east of where the trapper is. Um, you'll see it, it's in a place called Elysium Pool. It'll be at the very top northern point where the where it meets the river itself. That's where the waterfall is going to be, and that's how you're going to enter uh, to find the tunnels to get to the last portion of the treasure. Now, once you've reached the Elysium Pool itself, um, like I said, where the river meets the pool uh, is where you'll find the waterfall. Um, look over the side, you'll be able to see how you can traverse down the side of the beginning of the river um, to get into the waterfall. Now, whatever you do, once you find where you want to enter, um, try to do it a little more gracefully than this. Yeah, not good. Once you get inside the waterfall, make sure to equip your lantern. It can be pretty dark and there's a lot of different areas you need to climb up. Um, through the opening of the waterfall, you'll see there is a cliff that you need to traverse. Um, just climb up that side, stay, stick to the right of the path, um, follow it all the way through. Um, once you get to an opening um, that you'll see on the right hand side, uh, fall down the steps somewhat without injuring yourself duck down and then there will be an opening to your right as well duck down go through that opening follow that through stick to the right hand side follow the right tunnel um, this is where I found someone had died or left some loot there's actually a large jewelry bag in here which you can sell to a fence which would be worth some good money once you pick that up uh, turn back the way you were going head up the tunnel um, keep following that up until you'll meet a large air opening where um, over the side of the edge will be a huge huge crevice but be careful this is the area you want to jump from you do not want to jump from the one straight in front of you if you do you will plummet to your death I'll kind of show you just the w a, a quick way of how I screwed that up but I didn't die so I survived but if as you can see that's the way down that's where you die so once you've escaped certain death, slide down to a shallow pool of water and then you'll see a ridge to your left um, that you can climb up on. Once you climb up on this ridge, there'll be a bunch of rocks kind of laid out about. You'll get a cue again for search, reach underneath, and get you those four gold bars. Now each one of these can be sold to a vendor for around 500 um, coins or money, as you could say. But uh, that's it. That's how you do it. Um, if you guys like the video, please leave me a, a subscribe if you could. Hit me with that like button. Uh, I'm trying to do more videos like this in the future. Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit better at these editing um, and see if we can find something that makes sense and that will help out.